Hi everybody, it's Doris, Kiwi Scrapper from New Zealand and I'm back today to share with you my very first mixed media canvas and I've been wanting to do um, one of these for quite a while now but I haven't felt confident enough and um, so I've watched you know, lots of videos, mixed media videos to see how it all happens. Now um, probably about six or seven months ago I bought some Lindy's Stamp Gang sprays, their starburst sprays. Um, I only bought three because I had no idea what, how to use them or what to do with them and I haven't mixed them up until about three days ago <laughs> so they've sat there in their powdered form but three days ago I decided that I would do this and I had a canvas that's probably seven, seven by five I don't have a ruler here unfortunately no. I keep spotting my ruler and then it disappears again. Um, anyway, it's a small canvas. So without further ado, I'll show you what I have done. And um, yeah, there it is. So yeah, as you can see, it's a small canvas. It's like not a lot bigger than my hand. Um, and the first thing I did was I painted it all over with... Um, well, it was already white, but I painted all, it all over with um, this one here, which is antique white, acrylic paint. And that comes like out of a, like a creamy colour. And then over top of that, I started to do my spraying. And as I say, I've never done sp the spraying before, so <laughs> it was all a complete mystery to me. Uh, and what I used, I, I just, I, as I say, I've only got three. I only got three from Lindy Stamp Gang online. And... Um, I got this one and this is called Cattail Copper Brown. And these are all the Starburst sprays. And this one is Tibetan Poppy Teal. And this one is Tequila Magenta Gold. And you know, I think I chose these more or less for their um for their pretty names. <laughs> rather than anything else but as it happened they did all go well together and I, I thought they would anyway so so um, as you, you can see the background here it's got a lovely coppery glint to it because which you may or may not be able to pick up I'm not sure um, it's just all over this beautiful well all these paints have got a pearlized shimmer to them so they really are lovely and you know you just sort of you just spray and spray until it becomes pleasing to you well, that was what I did anyway. <laughs> Once it, you know, looked good, then I started the rest of the work. And I used um, my modelling paste for the very first time. And there it is. And I bought this, like, months ago as well. But, as I say, it, it's, it's just taken me this long to get round to actually do, you know, to, not to get round, but to pluck up the courage to do a mixed media piece. Uh, so... I used that modeling spray, but I I did not have a stencil. I've got a couple of stencils, but they courting stencils and not what I wanted to use here. They were too big. So what I did was I took sorry for the for the um, for the gleam of the light. I took the silver foil, um, what do you call them? Placemats or something? You know, the doilies, doilies for Christmas and stuff. And I just cut out a section of this stuff here where the holes are, and that's what I used. And it came out quite good, as you'll see there. I'll just um, see if I can get a close-up of that. Yeah, this is it. And once I'd done all that, I, I did it here, I did it down the bottom here, and then I took it on to, sorry, some of the edging. Um, top and bottom I didn't do, I just sprayed. And down, down the lower end of this one. So that's what I did with that, and then I sprayed over them as well, just because otherwise, you know, you get this glaring white plastery look. What I didn't do was I didn't paint over it with gesso first, which I saw um, how to that was done on another me mixed media canvas video I was watching. So I didn't do that, but it came out okay actually. Took the colours quite well. I had this lovely um, print of an angel on my in my files so I printed it out yes I've got my printer in action again I haven't had a printer for over three years 
that hasn't had cartridges so I finally bit the bullet and I got those so um, I did this and then I fussy cut the angel out she's playing a harp he or she, she I think and this is part of the sash of her flowing bits uh, and then I just touched that up with some gold paint which I only bought a couple of days ago because they had all these paints on sale for two dollars each at Spotlight here in New Zealand, that metallic gold so I didn't have any rubbing gold which is what mixed media artists use for this kind of thing but I just sort of stuck it there and I just put it wherever I wanted to to highlight in the word love um, and some I gessoed over the um, the wild orchid craft roses and then I because they were too bright a pink then I just touched them up with this gold um, metallic paint and I gessoed over these the wooden letters to spell out love and then I just touched those up with some of the metallic paint as well um, I put some lace here to represent like clouds yeah that's what they're supposed to represent clouds <laughs> <laughs> um, the, this is supposed to represent the whole background is supposed to represent the um, celestial firmament like the heavens you know all the beautiful colors merging that we see so often when we see pictures of planets in space we see all those beautiful colors and they all merge together so that's that's what that is and these are the clouds and I sprayed some paint over uh, some of the Lindy stamp gang sprays over that um, because it was too stark otherwise. I had this metal piece which is from um, Shabalicious, Lily Linica's shop, Sibbit shop, and I bent it over so it curves over here, continuing over this way here, and then I painted it with gesso and then antique white, and then last of all I just sprayed over it as well and the metal has taken these Lindy Stamp Gang sprays beautifully look at that, isn't that gorgeous? so it just blends it in um, on this one here I just put, this is two layers of um, three layers, three layers of um, paper daisies and again I just sprayed over them uh, on this word, on the word love, I put this. Um, I gessoed this little cupid I had. It's a little, uh, not cupid, cherub. It's a little cherub um, button. It was um, sort of a brass colour, and I just gessoed over it to get the required effect. And being that it's Valentine's coming up, I thought that that could, that would be very apt. And here I've got. The clouds here, I made them to look like wings when I put the heart on. I gessoed over this heart as well, it's an acrylic heart. Um, no, I didn't gesso over it, I put antique white. Put the little wild orchid craft rose in the middle with the gesso over it and the little touches of gold. And up here we've just got a, um, a resin bird. And this is a um, metal butterfly, so I painted that with gesso, I put antique white over top of that and then I just sprayed with the Lindy's colours and then I put this, put the pearls down here and the pearls on the antennae and um, I've taken a, a lot of inspiration, huge amounts of inspiration from a wonderful mixed media artist here on YouTube uh, and she has a blog and she's on Facebook and that's Gabrielle Palaco her work is amazing yeah it's just beautiful and she makes it all look so effortless so <laughs> it's not effortless but you know it's fun and so I took a lot of inspiration from her and also so for, you know from some other ladies but mainly from her I've been watching her for over a year now so that's my first um, mixed media canvas and around the edges here um, I use the technique which I've seen other mixed media artists use and that's outlining it in black um, just to give it a depth, to make it pop from the from the background and to make it look like sort of a shadow and give it almost like a three-dimensional three effect. My husband actually preferred it when it was all sort of, when I didn't have the black outline, I just it just kind of merged with the background. But it looked, for me, it looked too insipid. And I put the, I outlined the letters in the black as well. 
which isn't so obvious as on here. But I didn't have the right stuff. I mean, you're supposed to have the stuff that you outline and then you smudge it. <laughs> I didn't have that. I just had to use a, um, a sharp pen outliner. Okay, so that's my first ever mixed media canvas. And a uh, little green jewel down here with the gold on it. And, you know, I, I was actually quite pleased with the result. And I'm certainly going to be doing, getting some more Lindy's Stamp Gang um, Starburst sprays and their other glimmer sprays and things as I can afford to. And I'm going to be, I'm not going to be giving up on my lace things. So, um, I'll be still doing lots of those, but I really enjoy doing this mixed media as well. So thanks for watching everybody. See you later. Bye bye.